Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and maybe it's because the Minions movie, right? Their solo film beat the shit out of me. But my enthusiasm for the Despicable Me films has kind of fallen ever since starting this franchise watch. Now I am here to watch Despicable Me 3. What else does she do? Whoa! Flamethrower! Fuck yeah! Despicable Me 3 is a 2017 film. And you know, I was thinking in my head. Seven years after the first Despicable Me movie, they've had three films and one spinoff. That's very fast, Illumination. I mean, you guys are not wasting time churning out more sequels. And the more I started to think of, like, why? It's not like these movies are awful, but they're also not the greatest movies of all time. So why are we rushing back to make more sequels to this? And then I looked and saw that the budget for this particular movie is $80 million, And it made over a billion dollars in the box office. Oh, that's why they're making so many goddamn Despicable Me movies in such record times. Even the Minions movie, that last one that was terrible, made over a billion. So fuck me, right? What do I know? I don't know shit. I mean, come on. The beginning of this movie, you see the Minions singing the Illumination intro. Or they just very well may be the intro for Illumination Studios. They're clearly the biggest moneymaker. They're clearly what's keeping the lights on for Illumination. So it started off a little cringe just based off of that. I will say that I got a kick out of this new brand new villain who just danced to classic 80s and like those type of songs. I'm a sucker for that. Sure, it's cheap. Sure, it's kind of lazy given how many properties have gone to the well on that but when you start this movie off with this villain sure his backstory is that he was a child actor a child star and sort of was thrown off thrown out of the gig and he resents them now he resents anyone involved in this style of corporation so now he just wants to cause chaos and mayhem and destruction take back what's his sure sure fine that's all well and good but when he starts the movie off dancing to Michael Jackson's bad. How can I not have a good time, at least with this intro? Because that song fucking slaps. Now, you see that because Groot fails to bring this criminal in, he's immediately fired from the anti-villain league. They replace the previous head of it with a new woman. And that sort of felt forced. Like... Gru just joined this anti-villain group at the end of the last movie. They spent the whole second movie trying to recruit him, and he wasn't interested. He didn't want to be there. Now, maybe he cares more about this because he's now dating Lucy. And, by the way, great to see Kristen Wiig or hear Kristen Wiig do this voice. But he gets them both fired, and so maybe that's why he's upset. But I couldn't really figure out why he gives a shit. I mean, okay, fine, sure, if he feels responsible for her getting fired, that's one thing. But he talked about it as if he felt like he was a failure. Like, he got fired, so he felt in the wrong. Why do you even care about being a superhero, Gru? You're a villain. In your core, in your heart, you're an asshole. So stop trying to be the good guy. And of course, when he gets fired, the minions all decide to quit. They quit because, I don't know, maybe they thought he went soft. It actually more so felt like an excuse to have the minions go off and do their own adventure, their own side plot where they get chased down by and they end up on that sort of reality show and they're singing and I'm just sitting there like, no, my God, the success of the minions movies is going to force these Despicable Me films to do more with them. To have them do more shit that I am just not interested in watching at all. But we are here to watch them. They end up in prison. And then for whatever reason, while they're in prison, they decide, we miss Gru. We, let's now remember all of the good things that Gru has done. Even though 
the first movie established that he kind of treated them like crap. He didn't really care about them. They were just his minions. Now, we are retroactively showing that, no, he was nice. He treated them like his kids. I mean, that's news to me. But now they realize that they like him. Now they realize... I was like, what's the point of all of this? This is not needed. Not necessary. This is a big, fat waste of time. But not only that, as if there's not more going on, there's too much shit going on in this goddamn movie. You have another plot of Gru discovering that he has a twin brother. Of course, both brothers are voiced by Steve Carell. And it was a little too much. As much as I like the Gru character, hearing two versions of him, the, uh, the brother character is pretty much the same character as Gru. There's hardly any difference other than the fact that one has blonde hair. It's just, I don't know, I wasn't really as into this brother plot as I thought I would be. I thought they were going to do more with it. All it was was just the two of them spending time together, getting to know each other, and then having this forced fight uh, towards the end, only to rekindle and reconnect, which all just seemed uh, just overly done and overly trying to make me care about this plot, and I did not. And and then, you know, the cliffhanger of this movie, I don't know if this is going to be the plot of Despicable Me 4. I honestly don't care. I'm not entirely sure if I even want to continue to watch this franchise anymore. Do you guys even care that I'm watching this? Is this a waste of time? Should I just stop before I end up pulling my hair out and just saying... Fuck animated movies altogether. Maybe I just need a break. Maybe I just need to go away and run off to an island somewhere and just chill. Because I'm watching movies that I just I have no interest in watching, not anymore. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of Despicable Me 3. This is more watchable and palatable than the Minions film, but that's not saying much. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later.